Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I make videos for anyone who's looking to try and improve their chess and their club rating level, beginner level, any level really. I'm just documenting my chess journey, sharing what I'm learning, sharing how I'm trying to get better at the game and all of that stuff. So if that sounds interesting, uh, please consider subscribing as it would be greatly appreciated. In today's video, I'll be going over the Steinitz defense. I'll quickly look at the modern, uh, the, the old Steinitz and then we'll look at the modern Steinitz. Um, so let's not waste any time, let's get into it. So e4 is played, e5, knight f3, knight c6, uh, bishop e5, and d6 is the old Steinitz. I'll cover it uh, quickly. Uh, you always want to go d4 here. Attack the center. Um, normally takes is played, takes, and bishop d7. After castles, um, knight f6. I just want to say um, this could be taken. After this, we just take here takes and maybe after knight f6 we go knight c3 and um we go like rook d1 maybe bishop g5 and the position is is pretty playable it's why it has a nice why has a slight advantage as well um and yeah i mean the the um it's, it's a fairly nice middle game um as as um your queen's better place your pieces are just better place than bucks um, so that's a that's a line that black could go into, but it's not really that good for black. Um, so after castles, a uh, knight f6 could be played. After knight c3, bishop e7, uh, looking to castle. Normally here we take, take, and uh, it doesn't make sense for black really to take back with the bishop, as we've given up the bishop. Uh, takes we've given up the bishop, but we now have this nice knight. We have this nice knight. After knight, uh, after queen f3. Um, castles and e5 very nice idea to we're hitting both this and this is very interesting there's a game that boris basky played in this line and i recommend you do uh um your own research and look at that game as well um but yeah this is the position i always try and aim for so that's the that's the steinitz um that's the old steinitz fairly quickly um but today's video is really going to be about the modern steinitz after a6, bishop a4 is played, and, sorry, um, after this, now black, oh, black goes a6 here. After bishop a4, now they go d6. And now, what happens if we go d4? After d4, what we would normally like to do, but a6 is being played, so there's a big difference now. After b5, bishop b3, knight d4, knight d4, and takes, if we, if we take back this pawn, um, what you probably would think is all fine. I'll let you pause the video and find how uh, black wins a piece. Uh, if you did pause the video or you just already know, it's a very famous trap. It's called the Noah's Ark trap after c4, hitting the queen. Um, for example, if we just go queen e3, this bishop's lost. So after queen uh, d5, trying to threaten checkmate in one. And trying to threaten this rook after uh, bishop e6. After this bishop, this queen's under attack. After queen c6, uh, this. After this, uh, uh, black can go c4 because now the rook's defended and uh, win, win, win material. So that's a little trap there. So that's why we don't go d4. We go castles after quickly back trap. After this, this, this. D6, we don't go past, we don't go D4 here because of B5. So we castle. Okay, so castle is the move. And now uh, Bishop D7 is the most common move by a long shot, by a long mile. And after C3, uh, black pretty much has two options here. It can either go Knight E to, uh, or Knight G to E7 with the idea to go Knight G6, or black can play with G6 and go Bishop G7. This, there's really only two options. Uh, let's look at Knight G6 really quickly. After D4, is played a uh, knight g6 the whole idea a uh, very nice interesting idea here d5 uh knight e7 doesn't make any sense because it blocks the bishop um so let me just backtrack after this this is kind of a crucial moment where after c3 where uh black has to choose so after this d4 um knight g6 after d4 uh, sorry, d5. This doesn't really make sense because we can exchange and maybe like queen d3 and this this knight is this knight will probably have to go back to b7. So that's why it goes to b8. And we can go c4 here. 
doesn't really matter or we can exchange and then go c4 and the whole idea is to go put our knight here um put our knight here and basically we want to try push our pawns up and break with a c5 push it's kind of like a king's indian attack for white uh you want to go knight c3 and go like this pretty much um and black will try to create a counterplay of his own and um try and attack the king um so you have to you have to be a bit cautious but the whole idea is just to try to break through on this side of the board um if if d after d after c3 if um after this after um bishop d7 after c3 if g6 is played to go bishop g7 we can go d4 as well after this we can go we can go d5 as well however this time black does have a couple more options and the games will look fairly similar the, the knight can go here after c4 um or after say we take take c4 we can go knight c3 we can do the excuse me same ideas but black this time can play uh f5 um it's more of a it's more of a threat um and yeah black's position here however is not that bad um and it's probably better for black doing this way so we that means we don't always have to go d5 you can always go rook e1 here and go knight d2 and um try exchange and go queen e2 um so that's kind of the ideas but with that for, for example rook e2 um for example knight here bishop e3 castles knight d2 h6 takes takes and bishop d5 that's an idea you could, you could go for um so yeah that's pretty much those two and that's pretty much the of uh, the modern day steinets you can look into some old master games from the players um and try get that's what i've been doing and it's really been helping um i recommend looking at a game by the way by um um Shmirnov and belly bella zorov i'll leave a link in the description it's a great game i recommend looking at it and yeah thank you for your time and attention i really appreciate it and uh, have a good rest of your day